Now, your character in Breaking Bad, Walt Jr., uh, has a more severe form of cerebral palsy than you do. What was it like to act and, and talk uh, less ably than you actually can? What really came down to it is, is having the crutches really played the character. It wasn't, it wasn't so much I was really dragging out anything. Yes, I, I would stutter a little bit more, but I was younger and I actually did stutter a little bit more than I do now. That went away and you no longer saw the crutches and you no longer saw the, the condition, but you saw him as a person, as an individual that was uh, thriving and trying to fight for, for what he believed in and keeping his family together. For a young actor working in LA who rocketed to fame, RJ is surprisingly circumspect about all that comes with it. Fame is fickle and, and weak and it has really no, no, no body to it unless you give it body, unless you give it a soul, unless you are, are using it for something. People just want to be famous to be famous and, and say that they make a lot of money and that's also, that's usually a lie. And that's not something that you base a career off of. You base a career off of your work ethic and what you bring. And it's not just taking and taking, but what you are giving back. You said in an interview in May that um, the show didn't make you a, a millionaire. I'm hoping that wasn't any kind of wage discrimination. Is that, is that true? The thing is, is you can't rely on one job to, to make you. It's, it's work, it's ethic, it's continuing to push forward. And I, um, I'm able to do a number of works now because if it did, I would probably only be focusing, if, if I had unlimited resources, I'd probably only be focusing on acting and, and, and goofing off. I wouldn't be able to, to try to continue to broaden my, my business and, and who I am. I wouldn't do modeling, I wouldn't be producing. In fact, RJ walked the catwalk during Milan Fashion Week last year for Vivian Westwood, a far cry from his roots. So do you receive scripts these days that don't say in the character notes, disability? They're not just throwing scripts at me every day, but I do get the occasional scripts where uh, they're, they're real characters and I've done a few characters that don't have disabilities. I find a lot of people always ask me, are you afraid of being stereotyped? Are you afraid of this? And, and yes, you do get stereotyped, but you choose to accept roles that people are trying to stereotype you in further. And I don't... I don't accept those roles. I accept the roles that I believe that can affect change of the mindset of what we are able to do. So how should moviegoers and TV uh, viewers react when they see an able-bodied actor playing a character who is disabled? Should they applaud the character study or should they lament the lack of an opportunity for a young disabled actor? Well, see, this is the this is a grey area when it comes down to it. I mean, you, you, you do... I, I want people with disabilities to have more opportunity to be able to go into roles that represent them. But when it comes to an able body playing a disabled character, I think it's an amazing opportunity for that actor to be someone and, and see something that they won't normally get to be a part of. If you're going to do a disabled character, you have to study, you have to learn that character, and you have to understand the pain. And you'll never fully understand what it's like to have a disability and not just physical or mental, but, but dealing with the surrounding environment of growing up with that disability. Because it's almost impossible to describe unless you've been through it. 